welcome, welcome. Please come on in. The more the merrier. I'm going to attempt to cook one of these um, meal packets. I'm trying to get the live up on my computer, so we will refresh the page and see if it'll pop up. Pop! But right now I just got onions in my pan. I'm gonna do my teaspoon of butter with our little measuring spoon. Look at how that is. And I'm going to get a spoon and scrape the butter into there. The teaspoon works wonderfully. Hello and welcome. We're just gonna keep this simple and easy. I'm gonna cut up my chicken. Reach over here real quick and get my sharp knife and cut up the chicken. Yes, I'm dealing with raw chicken. My sink is right there. I haven't told you what we're making yet, but I'm just gonna cut up the chicken real quick while we are waiting. I'm gonna get my onions sauteing on about medium with the butter. You know what? Let me wash my hand real quick. There we go. Hello Heather, welcome! I'm going to be attempting to make the buttered chicken. If you like what you see here, I am more than willing to help you um, with the party and do a cooking show live like this in the party as well. And my burner's smoking because it is a fresh clean burner. And my stove is loud. I, I put that on pause because I was gonna come and get a little bit of garlic. It doesn't call for it, but I want a tea, I just used our spoon. I'm gonna use a, the other end, the tea, half a teaspoon, and put a little bit of garlic in the pan. It doesn't call for it but it doesn't hurt to actually flavor the onion and the chickens. And so, that there that I just used is our garlic. And then I've already used the butter, so I'm going to actually put the butter aside. If I think it calls for more, I will do more. But I'm gonna finish cutting up the chicken. That's a good piece of chicken. We're gonna put it in. I'm just cutting my chicken into cubes. Simple, easy cubes. Once I get my chicken going, then I, let me put the knife down while I do that. I still got another two pieces to cut up. So, there we go, we're gonna get our chicken going and, and, and cut up. So, simple, fun, easy, love it. I didn't tag anybody this time. That way people can come in if they want to or not. I will do my best to look on my com my computer as well as my phone for comments. Let me scroll down till I see it. There we are. We're right there. We're going to load that up so I'll be able to see comments in there as well. You can see my, my pan is hot. It's smoking. It's cooking. So I gotta get the rest of this chicken in there. So we're gonna hope that this one's good. I haven't tried it yet. So this is the buttered chicken. Normally, most most people would have this all done ahead of time, but I want you to see that I'm actually cooking, and for as long as this live takes, will be actually how long it actually truly does take to cook. The only thing I didn't pull out yet is my rice because I want to put it over rice and my vegetable which we'll get the vegetable going in a little bit and I just used three normal sized chicken breasts and I'm just cutting them into cubes now that they're cut into cubes I'm going to put them in the bowl and my onion was frozen my chicken's still a little frozen so those are going to take a little bit to cook so I'm going to now turn up my heat a little bit. Hello guys, everyone, welcome. We're going to just cook our chicken down. I'm not afraid of this, it's just a frozen onion. Hello Dorian, welcome. I'm going to wash my hands now and then I'll show you what we're making. There we go. 
Let me dry my hands. We are going to be making the buttered chicken. It looks delicious. I'm changing it up just a smidge, but not too bad. So now I'm going to put this away so that I can just concentrate on what we need to do here. I splashed it. Okay, now I'm just cooking up the chicken with a little bit of butter and garlic and onions. And once I'm done doing that, I'm going to add our seasoning. So while that's going, I'm going to go into the freezer. You'll hear a little ee, and then I will be back because I'm going to get our vegetable to go in our steamer pot. This one's going to work. This one's too frozen. I'll be right back. There we go. We're going to just use some frozen cauliflower. Now I'm going to get the scissors. This is not what they're used for, but we did get scissors in the kit as well. The scissors are right here. And I'll stir that in just a minute. And then get our vegetable, open that up, get this, before I put the vegetable in, which is going to go on top here, I am going to get some rice and put it in here, and put the butter in. So let's go ahead and stir this, and get this all yummy and delicious and cooked. It's smelling good, and so far it's just got butter and garlic. And what I mean by garlic is I used our garlic aioli. Yum, yum. So, that's where I'm going to get my rice. And we cook with brown rice. So, brown rice. And I'm going to pour that in here. That's just enough to coat the bottom of the steamer. And I'm going to add just enough water to cover it. And while the chicken's cooking, I'm going to go ahead and cook our rice. I'm going to need a little bit more rice. Because that don't look like it's enough for our family. Good thing I have another box. And I go by sight. Use a spoon. Oh, that's going to be perfect. That's going to be perfect. And I'm using brown rice because that's what my doctor told me I need to use. So, now if you want to flavor it, which I'm going to a little bit, and I'm going to do it by pinches. I'm going to turn this down, and we're going to stir it. Our chicken is almost cooked enough to where we can add our seasoning. And then I gotta get in the fridge behind you guys and get out the milk. Hello, Terry, welcome. We are making the buttered chicken. Yum, yum, yum. I love cooking. Um, since I dirtied my teaspoon, I'm just gonna pinch it in and put the garlic all over the rice. A few healthy pinches. To help flavor the rice. There we go. This is our gar roasted garlic aioli. Hello, Barbara. Welcome. Now I'm going to put this over it. I'm going to do it this way so it has room. And I can put my cauliflower on top. And then we're going to steam the cauliflower while we cook the rice. Now you just put the lid on it. And I'm going to put it in the microwave for, come on, keep, keep connection. I'm going to put it in the microwave for seven minutes to start, and then check it and go from there. So I'm off the, off the screen, so I put it in the microwave. We're going to go, time quick, seven, zero, zero, start. 
So while the rice is cooking, we're going to come back to our chicken and stir it. And you see, doing it that way, there's just the perfect amount of water left in our pan because it's naturally cooked out. Our chicken is cooking. Now the chicken's almost fully cooked. What we're going to do, I'm going to get the scissors again, and I'm going to carefully cut this open so that I can still read my instructions. There we go. Oh, now this smells amazing. You can't, you can kind of see. But I'm just going to sprinkle this on top of the chicken. Oh, and I'm going to stir it in and get it coating everything. And then it calls for a little bit of milk and onion as well. So it's, it's going to be a semi-thick. So now that I've got that going, let me get my measuring cup and my milk. So it's going to call for one and a fourth cup of milk. So we're going to go one and a fourth. We're just going to stir that up as well and get it all incorporated and let it cook down. Look at how delicious that looks. It smells delicious. Okay, because I'm reading the instructions on the back of the package because it tells you how to make it. So, I did the milk. I didn't add the tomatoes yet. I'm going to wait until this cooks down. So I'm going to turn it back up a little bit and let it cook down. It's going to cook down and be creamy and delicious. But it's like that perfect brown color. So, it says I can use coconut milk, but I don't have coconut milk. And it says I can add Greek yogurt to it as well if I want when I remove it from the heat. But instead of the Greek yogurt, I'm going to add sour cream because I don't have Greek yogurt. So, let, let my pan get back up to temperature. And that's just how easy it is. You follow the instructions and it's boom, 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 let's go. If there's any questions, feel free to ask. I have you on my computer and I have you on my phone. So if I'm looking over here, I'm looking at the computer. If I'm looking over here, I'm looking at the phone. So, and you notice the only bit of grease that we put in it was a small teaspoon of my unsalted butter. So it's absolutely delicious. And this is starting to thicken up just beautifully. And then I didn't use the coconut milk. Instead, I used my lactate milk. So it's absolutely delicious. Hi, Sherry. Welcome. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Let me grab out the sour cream while I'm over here. For those of you that are just joining us, we are making the buttered chicken. And now we're just letting it simmer and thicken up so that we can put it over our rice when our rice and our cauliflower are done cooking. Those are cooking in the microwave in the steamer. So you can have multiple things going at one time, which means dinner in under 20 minutes. And this has literally been, so far, 29 minutes. That's pretty good. But that's counting the time that I actually loaded you guys up and shared and all that. So it's been under 20 minutes so far because I was slow at loading you guys up. But this is getting thick and creamy. And it smells wonderful. It's something I've never had before, so I hope my family will enjoy it. I know I'll enjoy it. So, now we gotta get our tomato, because it says you can add crushed tomatoes to it, so I'm gonna add half of this can of crushed tomatoes. Which means I have to open them. We're gonna turn you down just a smidge. I'm always fighting with the heat on my stove. It's either too fast or too slow. It's never just the perfect temperature. And I went from raw to cooked in like no time at all. 
Ooh, those tomatoes taste good. That was the one I was using for my rice, so it's okay. We're gonna add our tomatoes. I'm, I'm using a little bit of the juice and all. That's half of the can of the tomatoes. The rest of that's gonna go in a bowl for tomorrow night, and I'll try to figure out how to use them tomorrow night. And this is thickened up beautifully. So, now this is pretty much done. Okay, it says to take it off the heat and then add your yogurt or your sour cream. And so, hi, welcome Michelle, welcome. I am making the butter chicken. Butter chicken. So I'm gonna get a clean spoon for this one because I keep dirty in my spoons. Now I'm using sour cream instead of Greek yogurt. But I'm gonna use, that's about a fourth of a I'm guesstimating. Most people like to measure. I guesstimate a lot. I'm going to set that right there and we can use that for our rice when the rice is done cooking. And then we're going to stir in our sour cream. And then the top is done for dinner. How beautiful does that look? That was fast, simple, and easy. I'm just, I'm just going to cook in and stir in that sour cream. I'm going to turn it back on medium-low and let it simmer a little bit longer while the rest of the stuff is cooking. But I will try to flip you guys around so you guys can see what it looks like. Oh, not me. Look at how delicious that looks. Look at how wonderful it turned out. If you want to host a party and have me cook for you live like this, I would be glad to do it. I would be more than glad to, to show and cook for you live. This is just me cooking for my family. And it looks yummy. Should I try the sauce? Oh, that's good. That is delicious. It's got a slight little peppery kick to it, but it is absolutely delicious. I think I want to add just a smidge more sour cream and stir it in and then that'll be done. My steamer just buzzed so I need to check my rice and see if it's done. Brown rice tends to take a little bit longer than the others. My, I'm just gonna take that off. So we're gonna add a little bit more sour cream. I'm using sour cream instead of the Greek yogurt that it calls for. Ugh. I don't really care for sour cream in the raw. And then I'm just going to stir that in. But that's dinner tonight. If the rice is done, it'll be done. So that was literally, if I don't count the time that I used for my setting up the live and tagging people, that was literally the 20 minutes. We're going to set that aside. I'm going to get a fork so I can reach underneath and check the, the rice. The rice needs a tad bit longer. So when the rice is done, dinner will be done. So I'm going to put this back in and let it cook a little bit longer. It's almost done. But I will post a picture of it when I dish up my plate for you guys all to see what it looks like. Thank you so much for hopping on. Um, if you would like for me to do a live cooking show for you in a party, comment below or message me and I would be glad to do so. Thank you for watching and have a wonderful night.